Okay. Yeah, I like Gen 7. It's my favorite of the 3D Pokemon generations, I must say. Like, in terms of how much fun I had with the uh, 3D Pokemon games of Generation 6, 8, and uh, 7, the order in which I had the most fun with them is probably like 7, 8, and then 6. I really didn't like 6. I don't know what it was about it, I can't quite put my finger on it, but like, X and Y, I just really didn't like. Sword and Shield was at least fun, and I enjoyed it more than X and Y, but like, some of the business practices behind it were pretty scummy, and I uh, didn't like that kind of aspect there. But at least I had fun with it, you know? But yeah, Watch Moon played, so when you got a 3DS, whoa! Uh, you got Ultra Sun and have like 400 plus hours in the game. They're fun. They are fun. I'd like to do a Soul Link at some point with uh, some Pokemon games. Like, it'll have to be when my schedule permits. Gosh dang it, what are all these poison charms? What the heck is this? What is this poison all over the place? Like, planted these all over the path. I guess I'll not take the path then. Is it not night? I could have sworn I changed it to night. Gosh dang it, I'm dumb. Is there a... Is that a Sight of Grace over there? In which case, I may as well go over there. I may as well go get that. Anyway, um... When it comes to doing main series Pokemon stuff on this channel, I've been wanting to do, like, more multiplayer playthroughs of various different games, because, like... You know, playing games on my own and whatnot and streaming can be fun, but it's even more fun when I have somebody that I'm playing with that I'm, you know, bouncing ideas off of and whatnot. So I've wanted to do more multiplayer playthroughs. So I've thought about, like, if I wind up doing Pokemon playthroughs in the future of, like, more older Pokemon games, I'd like to do Soul Links. And there was a time that me and one of my streamer friendos and one of the channel mods around here of Shuck were planning on doing a Pokemon Sun and Moon Soul Link at one point. I even put a layout together for it. Where is it? This right here. So look at this. This was going to be like my top 3DS screen and my bottom 3DS screen right there. And then if I turn these cameras off and then over on the other side for Sun was going to be like her top 3DS screen and her bottom 3DS screen. And then it shows like which side is what. You've got like the different backgrounds. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted this custom Pokeball design I threw together that was based off of the Sun and Moon logo or not. Or if I just want like the standard Pokeball design like is the thing that I use for the logo of the channel points around here. I had it set up so that I can turn on and off all the Z crystals as they're obtained and whatnot. So I'll just keep those on for now. But yeah, this was a uh, this was a plan that was in the works for a little while. But uh, Shuck's in like a really weird place when it comes to content creation nowadays. Never heard of a Soul Link? Have you heard of a Nuzlocke before? Because a Soul Link is a uh, multiplayer version of a Nuzlocke is what it is. So if you're familiar with a, uh, okay, so yeah, in a Nuzlocke, it's like, you know, a Pokemon gets knocked out, then it's gone forever, and, uh, you know, you can only catch one Pokemon per route. How a Soul Link works is if you look at the numbers up there, there's like one and one over there. There's two up here, and there's two over there. There's three over here, there's three over there. What that means is the Pokemon are essentially linked. So the equivalent Pokemon for each of your playthroughs are linked, and if one goes down, they both go down. So, like, your starters that you get at the beginning of the game, they're linked, for example. They'd be one. So, if one person loses their starter, you both have to get rid of your starter. If both of you, if one of you loses the Pokemon that you got on Route 1, you both lose the Pokemon that you got on Route 1. So, it's a Nuzlocke that's made even harder by the fact that, you know, you don't just have to worry about yourself making mistakes. There's two people that now have to, like, work together and not making mistakes or else you, like, collectively screw each other over. So I've, uh, it sounds hard and I've always wanted to do one because it sounds kind of fun at the same time. It sounds like really wacky. So <laughs> I was thinking about doing that with Shuck for a while, but, uh, you know, my schedule got really packed with a bunch of other Pokemon stuff. So I was like, okay, let's not do this super soon because I'm doing a bunch of other Pokemon stuff right now. Um, but maybe I'll be able to do it like after that other Pokemon stuff is done. But nowadays with her, with where she is in content creation stuff, she's been telling me that she's been having like a, diff a lot of difficulty having like motivation to do content creation stuff lately. And I don't know what her uh, stance towards that is. So we might not be doing a soul link of that at some point. We might not be. But somebody that I might potentially do a soul link with at some point of the Generation 7 Pokemon games might be that Guzma nerd if I enlist him because... You know, he's the Team Skull boss. He's the, uh, he runs the official Team Skull Discord server. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if there's anybody to do a Pokemon Sun and Moon Soul Link with, it'd probably be the Guzma, you know? Maybe, maybe. So, what I was thinking for a while is maybe doing, like, Pokemon Sun and Moon Soul Link with Shuck, and then Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Soul Link with Guzma, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or, uh, I don't know what thing, how things are going with Shuck nowadays. 
Who knows? Maybe, uh, I don't know if she'd be interested in that kind of thing anymore. I might just do, like, a Soul Link with Guzma at some point, but that might not be for a while. We're already planning out, like, other multiplayer things. Guzma and I, in addition to Anima, and maybe another friend, if we can bring them into the mix, might be doing a playthrough of Tales of Symphonia this year, maybe, as a big multiplayer thing. So, it might be a decent while before we can consider doing Soul Link stuff, but... I do want to do Soul Link shenanigans with some other content creators at some point, because that sounds like really fun and wacky and really stressful. You ever been bold enough to play a Nuzlocke? Same here. I've never done it one before. So it's pretty crazy that I want to try doing a harder version of a Nuzlocke before I even do a Nuzlocke. I want to do a Soul Link before doing a Nuzlocke. Because I think it'd be pretty funny. Of course, whenever I do playthroughs on this channel, I always like to do a complete playthrough, which means that we got all the way to the end. So, uh... If I was doing a soul link with some fellow content creator and uh, we did wind up losing, we lose all our Pokemon and we lose the run or something like that, I'd probably just say like, okay, we've lost once, now let's bring our Pokemon back and uh, like continue from here. Just use like a certain amount of continues. So if we can uh, get through the game without using any continues, without losing it all along the way, then hey, great. But let's use some continues along the way if we really need to, just for this, just so that we can have a full playthrough done that showcases like the full game, the full story, stuff like that. That's probably what I wind up doing, so that it is a complete series and doesn't, you know, abruptly end, because that would be, you know, very anticlimactic. So, I've already accepted that when I do it with some friendos, we may not win. So it'll be a matter of like how few continues can we use, you know. This is actually going to be a harder Knight's Cavalry, it seems like. That's what it seems like here. So that's my plan, if that happens. I don't think it'll happen this year. It might be some future years, honestly. Where are you going, Mr. Guy? But yeah, I don't think it's feasible for the schedule this year, but maybe some future year. Maybe some future year. Right now, the big multiplayer project to potentially try and figure out is Tales of Symphonia, if it works out. We shall see. And then we'll figure it out from there, I guess. That's what we shall do. All right. Well, I actually have to try for this one. It seems like. I actually have to try because the bosses are a little bit harder over here, huh? Okay, so let's go ahead and buff up my sword. And I'll buff up my attack. Whoops, my attack power here. And let's rush over there because these are time limited thing or bobs. Yoink! Grab my runes. Remember this dude? This knight's cavalry dude? He's mean, isn't he, Hawks? He's really mean, huh? Glug, please. Ha! You thought I was gonna be on your other side, but I wasn't. Crap. Crud. It's fine, right? It's fine. Come on. Hi. Get up and I'll get the backstab. Bam! Okay. Boop. What you gonna do, huh? You're gonna die. Or a super die. Okay, I can probably get a level up off of this. Which means that I should be able to get up to 52 intelligence, which means I should be able to use this staff without uh, without needing that plus 5 intelligence charm that I have. Yeah, as for what you said about Ultra Sign and Moon, we called them Gen 7.5. What you said about feeling like it was almost the same game is extremely common. I think that Ultra Sign and Moon is better, but only in the last one-fourth of the game. Otherwise, it's almost exactly the same. It didn't bother you because you were late and played Ultra Sign and Moon first. Yeah, if you played Ultra Sign and Moon first, then that's probably the better experience then. Just experiencing, like, the better, the better game there first. But, uh... Yeah, from the perspective of doing Sun and Moon into Ultra Sun and Moon, it was like, ah, it's basically the same game. Remember doing so well, then choking at the end, letting in unnecessary hits? That's what happened to me with that Estelle dude earlier. Seek jumping earlier this stream. First off, Tarnished. What? I have no idea how to get into there then. No idea what's going on with that. Wait. Can I just like sneak into here like, um, <laughs> with a jump thing? This the, uh, oh. Ow. Hmm. Hmm. Haven't been up here yet. But yeah. Saw you fight him. Screw that guy. Screw him. Screw that guy. I don't like him. 
You like all those things? What is this? You're not alive, are you? What are you? Yeah, you're not alive. Just making sure. Just making extra sure there is all. So how the heck do you get into here? Also, Guzma coming out of nowhere, gifting out 10 subs. What the heck to get up to that 100 total, the absolutely crazy mad lad. We were just talking about you a little bit earlier, Guzma. <laughs> My goodness gracious. I appreciate the 10 gifted subs, Guzma. You crazy, crazy lad, you. My oh my, welcome in slash back to team Ed Harmonic. Crystal, Dank Judgment, Jake Frost, RPG, Sasabi, Steelers, Tesla Fistforge, Goblin Pudding, Medley of Voices, and Puppy O Cam. Hope you all enjoy a month of the emote slash sub badge and all that fun stuff. We're going to be listening to Counter Attack now for, uh, for a while because of that. I appreciate the continued support, you crazy, crazy mad lad Guzma. We were just talking about Soul Links of a Pokemon Sun and Moon, how I was planning on potentially doing one with Shuck at some point. How I was thinking about doing like Pokemon Sun and Moon Soul Link with Shuck and then maybe Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Soul Link with you. But I don't know what's going on with like Shuck with the content creation space nowadays. So uh, that might not be happening with Shuck. I don't know. I don't know what the freaking plan is there. I I don't even know what's going on with our Hive Mind series that's been in purgatory for a little while. Um, but uh, yeah, I was talking about you behind your back. Talking about if at some point you might like to do a Pokemon Sun and Moon Soul Link because that'd be pretty fitting to do it with like the freaking leader of Team Skull there and whatnot and stuff. But it might not be for a while. We have other projects to figure out first, like Tales of Symphonia. That's uh, that's what we were talking about. That was the uh, conversation topic there. Did I just break that? Um, yeah, I have no idea how to get into here then. But yeah. The Christmas story is way cooler than Luzamine's Ultra Beast obsession. It is definitely fascinating and whatnot. It definitely is there. That dude's grabbing mechanic is BS. You had a 1% dodge rate against it. What, with Estelle there? <laughs> You'd be down for it? Neat, neat. Something to potentially figure out at some point. But right now, the priority is figuring out Tales of Symphonia, first and foremost. The current multiplayer project to figure out is Tales of Symphonia. If we do another multiplayer project after that, we can uh, figure out Pokemon Sun and Moon. All right, Knight's Cavalry, Denzo. Godskin Apostle, all right, kill him. Because that was the Divine Tower of, yeah, Kaelin. Yeah, did that. Urchie Burial, Watchdog Duo, I did that one. Mad Pumpkin Heads, Hammer, and Flail. I haven't done this one yet. So there's that. I think it may be starting at May 1st, as I was going to start Tales of Symphonia that day, if you're down for it, start Tales of Asperia. What day of the week is May 1st? It's a, uh, ah, it's a Sunday. Because I was going to propose potentially, like, if we did schedule it as, like, a weekly kind of thing, I feel like a Sunday would probably be, like, the most convenient day to, uh, day to do it on. As what would, like, best work for me. So, uh, if we are able to do that, that'd be great. I think that Anima Nerd may have headed out. I don't know if you're here right now, Anima. But we were going to figure it out with that Anima Nerd. I don't know if Sundays work for Anima there. And I wonder if we could, uh, reach out to some other nerd who might be interested in, uh, be a part of that. Someone who partake in fellow shenanigans. BRB all right, Tesla Fist Forge. Let's go. So, Kalem Ruins Underground. So, oh, sorry, that forced its way out. So, the Kalem Ruins is apparently here. So, apparently, there's like an underground thing around here, then, it seems like. Yeah, I have to be earlier in the day, though. Huh. Can definitely can definitely see how things work out because part of the reason why I was proposing like a potential Sunday kind of thing is because like even if I'm away from for the weekend Sunday would be like the day that I get back even if I like headed out of town is a thing which I don't post weekends but on some weekends I do but I'd be getting back on Sundays so I do wonder like is that a sight of grace over there that I never got so it would depend like what time I'd be back on those days yeah I guess I never got that one there um, Though I do, I am still in town, like, more weekends than not, is the thing. But yeah, I can definitely, uh, let you know. Can't be too late at night. Oh, so when you mean earlier in the day, you mean, don't mean, like, early, early in the day. You just mean, like, not late at night. Because I'd probably be getting home during, like, the, uh, early afternoon or something like that on Sundays if I was out of town. I'd be able to during the day there. I don't know what things would be looking like for that anima nerd, though. Two things about Vesperia, there's a certain dungeon or two you came across that was super painful, so hopefully it shouldn't be with the three of us. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. If it's with Symphonia. Right there. If 
because yeah, after uh, after the pain that I had with Vesperia, I liked the combat and the gameplay of Arise. I did not like the combat and the gameplay of Vesperia. Like it was a bit too dated for me <laughs> there. But the modern Arise gameplay, that I liked. The gameplay of Arise I liked. So something that's even more dated with Symphonia, I feel like I would be freaking losing my mind over if I was doing it on my own, which is why I need it to be a multiplayer playthrough. Help me keep up my sanity. And even if the gameplay isn't all that fun to me, I'd still be able to have fun with, a, uh, you know, by nature of playing with friends and stuff, you know? And that would make it fun, even if I don't find the game itself fun. Hopefully I'd find the game itself fun, but uh, okay, counterattack is done now. What the heck is going on out there? Praise the don't you dare. Why'd a bunch of people die here? I've been down here, apparently. Did I already take these guys out and I forgot about it? I must have then. Whoops. What does it say the uh, reward for them is? Um, locate, loot visage sealed. So I must already have it then, right? Visage shield? Oh, yeah, I did it already. Whoops. Yeah, I've already done these mad pumpkin heads. All right, next up is Deathrite Bird. Let's see here. So Deathrite Bird is, um, appears only at night. What? Why can't I open my map? Screw you, game. Gosh, dang it. But yeah, uh, yeah, words are hard there. I really like the story in Symphonia, but only issue is you haven't gotten too far in Symphonia. Not that you lost interest, got, but your laptop broke, so you couldn't finish it. Welcome back, Tesla Fist Forge. Well, playing it as a uh, as a small group would be an opportunity to uh, finally get around to properly playing it there. So, freaking Deathrite Bird is apparently like here and appears at night, apparently. But yeah, have we beat Millennia? Yep, indeed we did. It was done. Millennia is defeated, so now I'm going around defeating, like, everything else. Uh, I think it's night, but it's wacky to tell sometimes in this game, so I'm just- Dang it! I just changed it to morning! Yeah, it would have only been night for a little bit longer anyway. So, until nightfall, there we go. But yeah, good luck with that bird, certainly not a friendly bird, but my level's super high. And I already beat the uh, hardest boss in the game, apparently. I was strong enough for that, so surely all the random bosses around the world should be, like, relatively easy, right? It's gonna freaking wreck me, just watch. Just you wait. Here it comes to freaking ruin my day. But yeah, we can see if, uh, if Sundays work for, work for anima, for scheduling, and I can, uh, <laughs> and we can see what we're, what we may do with the group and figure things out. We'll figure things out. It's something that we'll have to uh, discuss a decent bit. Is there anything that you have that I don't have yet that's important? Uh, nah, seems like I have the important things already. I mean, I can do these for fun, I guess. Sure. There we go. Yeah. Crackpot might be kind of important. I don't know. But yeah, so we're trying to beat all the bosses before the final boss. I don't know. I'm just screwing around right now. Oh, it's that thing up there. Look at that thing. My goodness gracious. I might do some other side quests. Like, I could go burn the Erd Tree at any time now. Like, I, but I don't know when I want to do it. I think I've done, like, most of the important quests at this point. But, like, I don't know. I'm, like, second-guessing myself, and I'm just, like, stalling by... By, uh, killing the bosses in the meantime. Or something or other. Whoa! Oh my goodness, yeah, you're meaner than the other ones, aren't you? Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, you are definitely meaner than the other ones. Okay, glug. Crap, I glugged an extra time by accident. Come on. Big smackaroo. No, don't you dare chomp me. No, when are you gonna swing? You are such a weirdo. You're so weird. What is this? Should I be getting away? Uh-oh. What is this? What is this? What is this? What the heck is this? Oh my good gracious. Uh, it is a very mean bird here. Holy crap. I can't see. Woo! Um, yeah, burb. Very mean burb. No, don't chop me. I can't see. Oh, I can target the body for a little bit of a better angle. Please don't kill me with the flames. No! Come on! Well, as is the rule when it comes to bosses in this game for me, 
it's gonna be one of those bosses that I get down to one hit on the first try and then every subsequent try I'm not even gonna get close <laughs> that's the rule if I get a boss down to first hit on the first try that means I'm not gonna get even close on subsequent tries for a good while that's the way it is with me wait why aren't I using magic I can use magic from afar and be a little bit safer is what I can do I don't necessarily have to be up close I'll get my, like my big buffs get in there for a little bit and then I'll freaking dip out and start using some magic help out. <laughs> That's what I think I'll do. I didn't think the fire was going to kill me there, but even if, uh, <laughs> I figured that even if it would, like, even if I rolled away, then it would still, it would still be, you know, the, covering the whole area and it would still kill me anyway. So I just tried to, uh, I just tried to get that last hit because I think after I got hit by that one attack there, I was just dead either way know that feeling yeah it's one of them kind of times have i played super paper mario i haven't i've never actually played it before this is the way we go death right burb come on off you go yeah i think targeting the body gives me a lot better camera angle than the head i'm not gonna be like thor who should have gone for the head Come on, come on, go, 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 Crap, I can't see anything. I cannot see anything right now. Please don't kill me with that. All right, it might be, uh, it might be magic time, I think. What? Why can't I magic? What the heck? No, stop. Where am I? Please stop. Please, 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 please. Oh crap, that's why I wasn't healing. Please let me go. Please, please. Uh, what level am I anyway? I don't know, like 170 or something. Why can't I? Why can't I sorcery? Did you freaking silence me in some weird way or something? Why can't I sorcery? Whatever, I'm two-handing this. Oh, now I'm two-handing my... Oh, well, whatever, I guess. I guess I'm doing this now. Screw it. I'm doing this then. This is the new strat. There we go. Ah, stop! Jeez. So gosh dang mean. There, did it. <laughs> My goodness gracious, I got death's poker for that, apparently. Okay, cool. I only was only carrying 5,000. Oh, because I guess I spent some at Mr. Judo there. All right, death right bird is defeated. I'll mark that one as dead. Magma worm, I killed you. That was in Gale Tunnel, apparently. Um, Putrid tree spirit. Drops red main knight Oga spirit ashes. Do I have that already? Oh, my level uh 179, <laughs> apparently. Uh, so I'm pretty high level. Let's see here. So... Red Main Knight Oga Spirit Ashes. Yeah, so I don't have that. So I haven't killed the Putrid Tree Spirit yet. So where's the Putrid Tree Spirit at? Let's see here. Answer is the end of the war dead catacombs, and I can find those like here, apparently. So I wonder if I can jump down with that uh that draft there for like a safe landing, because I remember there was the draft there. Hmm. I wonder if that's like the big purpose of this. Maybe it's not getting up to there, but maybe it's getting down to the lower level. Maybe. I can go over here. Ah! Never mind. <laughs> um, Hoomstis Guzma there. It's the Guzma nerd is the answer. All right, I gotta find another way down there then. That's <laughs> uh, apparently not the answer. <laughs> well, let me just grab these real quick. All right, how do I get down there? From here? Is it this path?
So I just follow the path? Yeah, it was indeed you, Guzma. That you enter through the Star Scourge site? Oh, do I? Hold on. Because it kind of looks like it it's the path this way, though, right? Wait. Hold on, I'm gonna try this path first because, wait, is it the, oh no, that's a, this line is not the path. This was about to be the path. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> well, um, let me open my map, please. Please let me open my map. Please let me get something to eat. No. Okay, yeah, I'll try, uh, I'll try from down here then. In that a case.